Alright guys, just like last year, I had to do it again. In this video, I'm gonna show you all the football shirts I've bought in 2023. I can already tell you that I've bought more shirts than last year. We got some rare shirts, we got signed shirts, we got everything. And as you can see, my clothing rack is empty and that's just because I still don't wanna give away what shirts I bought. So grab yourself a drink and a popcorn. We're gonna get into the video. We're gonna start off with the first shirt I bought in 2023. It's the Argentina 2018 home shirt. The number 21 gives away what player I got on the back, but I already think this home shirt is underrated. The blue lines have a very smooth pattern in them and the overall look of the shirt is just smooth. By the way, all the shirts I'm gonna show you in this video are original. You got the tag over here, but I'm not gonna show the tag of every shirt because it just takes too long. On the back of the shirt, I got Dybala number 21. And what makes the shirt so special is that it was signed by Dybala himself. I met him in April and he signed the shirt and I think the signature looks amazing. Next up, we got the FC Barcelona 1617 third kit. I love the color of the shirt as well as the champs league patches on both of the sleeves. It's actually the vapenet version, which is kind of hard to find. And unfortunately it's a size small, so I cannot fit in this shirt. On the back, I got Messi number 10. And the yellow color of this name, so it looks beautiful on the color of the shirt. Shirt number three is Juventus 1516, the way shirt. I got this one a while ago and it's a size medium. Like I told you guys before, this is easily one of my favorite football shirts ever. I just really like the pink design of it. They still had the old team crest, which looks way better than the actual team crest in my opinion. No name or number on the back and this shirt doesn't have patches either. But honestly, I think this is a shirt I'm gonna wear myself. Next up, we got the AC Milan 23-24 away shirt. This is a beautiful fashionable shirt especially with this red and black line. The design of the shirt was actually inspired by the 11-12 away shirt and this shirt has got a clean fashion pattern all over it. Still no name or number on the back but I'll print this shirt soon and I'll make a video about it. And by the way it's still brand new with tags. Shirt number five is the Real Madrid 14-15 home shirt in long sleeve version. This shirt comes with the embroidered La Liga patch. We also got those nice buttons over here with this pink detail in it. This is a size medium. It's still in very good condition, but it still doesn't have a name or number on the back. Just like with the AC Milan shirt, I'll print the shirt later, probably with Ronaldo number seven on the back. Getting back to the design of the shirt, I really like the fact that they added pink details in the shirt. For example, we also got this pink line on the back of the shirt and just below the armpits. Shirt number six is a very special one to me because it was hard to find. This is the Napoli 22-23 home shirt. It's the Champions League version, like we got the Champions League patches right over here. And another characteristic of the Champions League version is that we only got the red Lette sponsor right over here. The City A version has got another sponsor just below this red sponsor. And my shirt is also the player version, which means that it's a bit more slim fit. The special thing about the shirt is that we got a pattern of Napoli logos all over the shirt. On the back, I had to get the goat from Georgia, Quaraschelia, number 77. What I like about this name set is that his name is so long and he plays with an unusual number. The shirt is a size large, but it fits like a size medium actually. But yeah, this is one of my best cups of 2023. Next up, we got another Roman Madrid long sleeve shirt. This time it's the 1617 home shirt. And this shirt is awesome because of this clean collar. I can also appreciate the navy collars, on, for example, the sleeve cuffs or the stripes below the armpit. This shirt also has an embroidered La Liga patch. And on the back, no name or number, but I already got the Ronaldo the printing right over here so I'll upgrade this shirt later on. Shirt number eight is the Ajax Daily Paper shirt from last season. It's got the Champions League patches on the right sleeve. On the left sleeve we got the Curacao sleeve sponsor. The shirt is still brand new with tags. I remember Ajax had a seal going on and you could get this shirt with 50% off. This shirt actually features different football courts in Amsterdam and on the back I got the Starboy from Ghana Kudos number 20. And this is a name set full of details. I can really appreciate that. We also got this nice daily paper logo over here. So a very cool shirt. I hope I can get this signed one day. Next up, we got another pink Juventus shirt. This time it's the 1112 away shirt. Back in the days, Juventus was manufactured by Nike. And just like on a 1516 away shirt, this shirt also has the old team crest. I think the color pink used on this shirt is a bit more intense than the 1516 away shirt. Over here, we can see both colors next to each other. But yeah, I really like the black design on this shirt as well. It makes a good match with this intense pink color. On the back, still no name or number. I might leave it this way because I think it looks clean. Shirt number 10 is a banger as well. It's a Manchester United 07-08 
home shirt. I was lucky enough to find this shirt brand new with tags and it's a size large but it runs a bit smaller so it actually runs like a size medium. I got the Champs League patch on the right sleeve and on the back of course I had to get Ronaldo number seven with the beautiful silverish name set. This is a shirt in which he won his first Champions League back in 2008. It was a legendary final if you ask me. Shirt number 11, Rundra 1920 home shirt in long sleeve version. It's even the player version. We got a La Liga patch on the right sleeve. I really like the golden details on this shirt. For example, the Adidas logo or the stripes on the shoulders. On the back, I got Sergio Ramos number four and this is actually the La Liga printing itself so it doesn't have the Roman Dread logo in the number and this year is also very cool because Ramos used to play with long sleeve when he played at Real Madrid. Next up we got the Galatasaray 1314 home shirt. This shirt is so legendary I mean look at the design and everything. It's a size medium it's still in very good condition even though it's got some pulls over here. On the back of course I got Drogba number 11. As y'all know, Galatasaray has got quite a history with legends. Drogba is one of them, so I just had to get this shirt. I mean, this guy was so iconic and fans love them. Next up is the Ajax 2021 home shirt. Nice one because we got the golden ADGC patch right over here. And this basically means that they won the Dutch league the previous season. I picked this shirt up in September, if I remember it right. And it's still in perfect condition. It looks like it's never been worn before. And on the back, I got Klaassen number six. I still hope I can get this signed because it would look beautiful on the shirt. Next up, we got the Inter 1718 home shirt. I really like the design of stripes over here and Inter still had their old team crest. We got a nice Serie A patch on the right sleeve and on the back, I got Icardi number nine. This guy is a god in Istanbul, believe me. But I really do think his shirts at Inter are amazing as well. I'm still trying to get a Galatasaray shirt with Icardi on the back, so I hope I'll get one soon. The next shirt is the Bayern Munich 1415 home shirt. It's in a size small, so unfortunately I cannot fit in this shirt, but it does have this clean golden Bundesliga winner badge. And I also think that the design for this Bayern Munich home shirt is peculiar, but that's exactly why I can't appreciate this shirt. I mean, it's got like these red and blue stripes, and usually Bayern Munich home shirts are red. On the back, I got a legend from my country, Robin number 10. I'm gonna try to get this signed in 2024, so wish me luck. The next shirt is definitely one of my best cops of 2023. It's the Argentina 2022 home shirt in authentic player version. It's got all of the World Cup patches as well as the final match detail over here. It's still brand new with tags and it's a size medium. On the back, of course, I got Messi number 10. I thought I would never find one of these but I eventually found one. Next up, we got the Brazil 1022 home shirt, still brand new with tags. I think this shirt is actually kind of underrated because it's got a beautiful pattern of the shirt. I also like the sleeve cuffs. They got the same color as the Brazilian flag. The number 20 probably gave away who I got on the back, but it's Vini Jr. I like the design of the name set on this shirt. I mean, I would say it's rather playful. The next shirt is the Real Madrid 2122 home shirt and this was a shirt I've been looking for for quite some time. Well this year I finally found it and even with champs league patches on the right sleeve. It's even a size medium which is my size and on the back I got Gamavinga number 25. The special thing about this shirt is that they won the champs league of 2022 in this exact shirt and also this was my first Gamavinga shirt so it's a very nice addition to my collection. Next up we got the PSG 1819 white Jordan shirt. The shirt has got Champions League patches on both of the sleeves. And what's so special about the shirt is that it is the vape in it version. It's still in very good condition. It's even a size medium, which is my size. And being a huge Mbappe fan, of course, I had to get Mbappe number seven on the back. I really do think that the first Jordan shirts look amazing. I also got the black Jordan shirt over here, but this white one may be even rarer. I don't even know. And over here, I got another Real Madrid shirt. It's the 1819 third kit. It's an all black shirt with some gray details. And what makes the shirt clean are the Champions League patches over here. We even got the FIFA World Champions badge right over here. And on the back, I got Asensio number 20. He plays at PSG right now, but I think his prime was at Real Madrid. So I'm glad I got one of his shirts. Shirt number 21 is the Benfica 1819 home shirt still brand new with tags. The shirt has got the beautiful Liga Nosh patch on the right sleeve and somehow I just couldn't find the shirt until this year. Because on the back we got Joao Felix number 79 and I just wanted to get this shirt because it was 
Joe Felix breakthrough season and he still played with number 79. Beautiful shirt in my opinion. Next up is the PSG 2021 fourth shirt. It's got the League 1 winner champions badge on the right sleeve and this is the player version as well. Y'all probably know who I got in the back but it's Mbappe number seven again. I just love the colors on this shirt. I mean, it's like a nice mix of purple and pink. And it's also got this nice spray effect or graffiti effect, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, a unique shirt in my opinion. Next up is the Egypt 2018 home shirt, brand new with tags. I've been looking for this shirt for a month and I just couldn't find it. But I think I found this one this summer and it was a great find because it's even in my size. Now the number 10 obviously gives away who I got on back. So I just show you. It's Mo Salah, number 10. This guy is one of the best African football players ever, so I just had to get his Egypt shirt. I traveled to Istanbul this year, so of course I picked up a Fenerbahce 22-23 home shirt. It's still brand new with tags, and it's my size, a size medium. I really like the colors on this one, as well as the team crest. And on the back, I got Ener Valencia, number 13. And this is a very nice name set as well, if you ask me. The next shirt is the Arsenal 21-22 away shirt. I really like the logo on this one because it's actually a gunner and that's exactly the nickname of Arsenal, the Gunners. Yeah, a very nice color on this shirt as well. I like the navy details on here as well as the red parts. A size large, maybe a bit big on me, but hey, who cares? And on the back, I got Saka number seven. I actually almost got this signed, but it just wasn't meant to be. Next up is the Real Madrid 1011 home shirt. A very underrated shirt in my opinion. We got this nice sunshine effect around the logo. Some nice blue details on the shoulders. And then Brennan La Liga patch. And on the back, I got Ronaldo number seven. And this was his first season when he played with number seven at Real Madrid because the previous season he played with number nine. And I really like the style of this name set as well. Next up is the Bayern Munich 1516 home shirt. Actually one of my favorite Bayern Munich home shirts ever, probably because of those dark red stripes and the smooth details over here. On the back, I got Lewandowski, number nine. I just had to get a Lewandowski shirt at Bayern Munich because that was definitely his prime. Another banger in my opinion, this is the FC Barcelona 0708 away shirt. This is a shirt with nice bright colors. We got bright yellow details on, for example, the sleeve cuffs and in a Nike logo. And this was actually the season when they celebrated the Camp Nou anniversary. On the back, I got Messi, number 19. The next season, he would switch to number 10, but this season, he'd still play with number 19. Next up, we got this beauty, the Ajax 1920 away shirt. The special thing about this shirt is that it's got all the Champions League patches on the sleeves. It's still in very good condition and it's actually my size. I love the dark green of the shirt in combination with the orange details over here. We also got a smooth pattern of lines as you can see. And on the back, I got Tadic number 10. I also really like the orange line around this name set. A beautiful shirt. Over here we got another great find. This is a France 2006 home shirt in long sleeve version. Obviously, back in the days, they still had one star. The shirt's got the World Cup 2006 patch on the right sleeve. And of course, number 10 kind of gives away what I got on the back. But of course, it is Zidane, number 10. I really love this Adidas Team Guys template. It looks amazing. And the next shirt is this France 2022 home shirt in player version as well. Probably one of my best cups of this year. It's got the World Cup patches on both of the sleeves, as well as the final match details just below the team crest. We even got this golden FIFA World Champions badge of 2018 over here. And on the back, I had to get my favorite player, Mbappe number 10. I love the navy look of this shirt in combination with the golden details. For example, this team crest or the golden name set. We're continuing with the West Ham United 22-23 home shirt. It's still brand new with tags, my size and it's got Premier League patch on the right sleeve. West Ham United shirts are so clean in my opinion, and this is actually my first one. And of course, last season was legendary for West Ham because they won the Conference League. On the back, I got Jogadinha do Paqueta, Paqueta. Lucas Paqueta, number 11. Next up, we got the FC Barcelona 21-22 third kit. A shirt with amazing details. It actually features different landmarks of the city of Barcelona. On the back, I got a player from my country, Memphis, number nine, and even signed by him. I literally got this shirt signed about a month ago, and the signature looks beautiful in the number. Over here, we got another Benfica shirt. This is the Benfica 2021 home shirt. It's got the Liga Nash patch on the right sleeve, and something I really like about this shirt are 
the golden details, for example, in this team crest or in the Adidas logo. The shirt is a size medium, which is my size. And on the back, I had to get the GOAT from Uruguay, Darwin number nine. And the best part of the shirt is probably this name set. I mean, look how beautiful it is. It's got this nice golden color with those details and the number. Next shirt is the Italy 2012 goalkeeper shirt. I picked this up a few days ago. I really like the color on this shirt. And to be honest, this shirt is not that special, but it does have a legend on the back, Buffon number one. This guy is such an iconic goalkeeper in my opinion. He used to be my favorite goalkeeper back in the days. And this is my first Buffon shirt actually, so it's a special one. Another very nice shirt I picked up this year is this Barcelona 0809 home shirt. This is easily one of the most legendary Barcelona shirts out there. They won a Champions League in 2009, but I actually got the La Liga version. You're tempted to think that I got Messi on the back, but no, I got Pujol on the back. This guy is a legend. I mean, he was the definition of an old school defender. Such an amazing shirt. Next up is the Argentina 2019 home shirt. The special thing about the shirt is that it has got the Copa America 2019 patches on both of the sleeves. Well, I can probably guess that you know that I don't got Messi on the back because it's got number 17 on here, but I got Otamendi number 17. I mean, I still didn't have an Otamendi shirt and I got so many messy shirts. You gotta get some variety in there, you know? Next up, we got the Atletico Madrid 1516 home shirt. I really like the design of this shirt and they actually play a Champions League final in this shirt, if I'm not mistaken, which they lost. But yeah, the stripes on the shirt are just so iconic. I also really like the bold Nike logo in blue over here. We got an embroidered La Liga patch. And on the back, I got Fernando Torres, number nine. I hope I can get this beauty signed very soon. The next shirt is the Croatia 2018 home shirt. Croatia actually made it to the World Cup final in 2018, which they lost versus France. Nevertheless, I do think this shirt is amazing. You know, it's this typical Croatia shirt with this checkers design. But I really like the team crest on here. On the back, I got Rakitic, number seven, signed by him. I was lucky enough to meet Rakitic two times this year and the signature on this shirt looks amazing. Over here, we finally got a retro shirt. This is the Real Madrid 0203, away our third kit. I absolutely love the purple color on this shirt. It's even got this old school La Liga patch. Even the labels look old. And this shirt is special because it was the centenary season. On the back, I got Ronaldo Phenomeno, number 11. So the old school Brazilian Ronaldo. I love the bold white name set on this all purple shirt. And next up, I got the Manchester United 1920 away shirt. This shirt's got a light brown color with black details. And that's kind of special for a football shirt, if you ask me. No patches this time, but we do have the color sleeve sponsor on the left sleeve. On the back, I got Rashford number 10 in cup style printing. And believe it or not, this is my first Rashford shirt. Shirt number 42 is the Arsenal 23-24 home shirt. This is my first shirt with the new Premier League badge. I like the nice golden stripes on here, as well as the details and the sleeve cuffs. It's a size extra large, way too big for me. But on the back, I got Havertz number 29, the new Arsenal signing and a very good player in my opinion. Next up is the Chelsea 11-12 home shirt, an iconic shirt because they won the Champions League final in this exact shirt. They still had the Samsung sponsor and their shirts were manufactured by Adidas. Still no name or number on the back, but I'm gonna print this shirt next year. This is the Real Madrid 1314 goalkeeper shirt. It's a beautiful purple shirt without any patches. On the back, I got the legend himself, Iker Casillas, number one. I literally found this shirt a few days ago, and when I saw it, I just had to buy it immediately. This is another banger, the Argentina 1998 home shirt. Look at this vintage collar, amazing. They also got this nice center Adidas logo. Number eight, so it's gotta be Simeone. And actually with a signature, I met him last month when the Atletico Madrid squad traveled to the Netherlands. I was actually the only person with a Simeone shirt and he was happy enough to sign it. The next shirt is the Chelsea 16-17 away shirt and the colors used on this shirt are kind of unusual. I mean, the shirt is black, gray, and it's got neon green details. We got the Premier League patches on both of the sleeves and on the back, I got Kante number seven. This guy's a true legend. You cannot hate him, in my opinion. Next up is another classic shirt, the Barcelona 1415 home shirt. And also definitely one of the best Barcelona home shirts ever. They won a Champions League of 2015 in this shirt, but my shirt has got the La Liga patch. On the back, I got Neymar Jr., number 11. I will always be a big fan of this name set. Iconic. This is another Barcelona, this time 
the 1516 home shirt. This season, their stripes were horizontal and that's exactly what makes the shirt special. It's got the La Liga patch and the Beko sleeve sponsor. Down the back, I had to get Messi number 10. In the beginning, I didn't like this shirt, but now it kind of grew on me and I love it. The next shirt is the PSG 1516 home shirt. This is just a classic PSG home shirt. And what makes it special is that it's got the champion 2015 patch on the right sleeve. On the back, I got Di Maria number 11, a very underrated player in my opinion. This was his first season at PSG, if I'm not mistaken. And I also really like this red stripe on the front of the jersey. Next up is the PSV 22-23 away shirt nice shirt still brand new with tags size medium my size and full patch we got the dutch league patch right over here and the toto patch on the other sleeve on the back i got xavi simons number seven even with a signature this guy is on fire and he's got a beautiful signature in gray as well and the next shirt is a shirt i bought when i went on holidays to barcelona this is the FC Barcelona 22-23 home shirt. And more importantly, it's the player version. We got this nice La Liga patch on the right sleeve. It's still brand new with tags. I remember the shirt was sold out everywhere, but I made a good deal with a local on an online marketplace. It's even got Jules Koundé's signature on here. And on the back, we got Lewandowski number nine. Somehow I really like the design of the shirt, especially with the stripes in three different colors. The next shirt I've been looking for for so much time Time is this Real Madrid 1718 third kit with all the patches. Like those patches are so hard to find, but luckily I found the shirt with the patches already applied onto the shirt. The best part is that it's still brand new with tags and in my size. Still no name or number on the back, but I'll definitely get Ronaldo's name set and print it onto this shirt. Over here, I got another FC Barcelona 1415 home shirt. I already showed you the one with Neymar on the back, but this is the exact same shirt, but this time, I got Messi on the back. This is such an important Messi shirt because this was the last time he won the Champions League with Barcelona. Over here, I finally got another African shirt. This is the Senegal 2020 home shirt. The pattern on the front of the shirt is just so clean. I don't know if you can see it very well, but we basically got all sorts of shapes on it in different colors. This team crest is so dope as well. Number 10 kind of gave it away, but of course I got Mane on the back of this beautiful Senegal shirt. Also one of the best African football players ever. I just had to get a Senegal shirt with Mane on the back. Such a legend. Like I told you guys before, I went on a holiday to Istanbul and that's where I picked up this Trapsan Sport 22-23 home shirt. An absolute beauty if you ask me. They actually won the Turkish league that previous season, so the 21-22 season, and that's why they got this logo over here. I got the shirt in a size large because they run kind of small. On the back, I got Hamshik number 17, a very clean shirt in my opinion. Another awesome shirt, this is the Portugal 2022 home shirt, still brand new with tags, the woke patches on um, both of the sleeves. It's a size medium and it's in perfect condition. It's never been worn before. And of course, the number seven, we already know who's got on the back. Ronaldo, number seven, iconic. His last woke up probably. But Ronaldo, you never know. Maybe his last woke up. The following shirt is a shirt I'm so happy with. I finally found it this year. This is the France 2006 away shirt. Let me guys tell you, France reached the final of the World Cup 2006 and they played versus Italy. France played in these white away shirts and the World Cup 2006 was actually the first World Cup I ever watched. And being a fan of the French national team, I had to get this iconic, beautiful shirt. Of course, it's got the World Cup 2006 badge on the right sleeve. And for me, there was only one player I could get on the back and I wanted to get on the back. And it's of course, Zidane, number 10. Easily one of the best midfielders. Ever. Over here we got the Barcelona 0910 home shirt. When I look at the shirt, it gives me those good old vibes. We got this very nice color with this yellow stripe in it. On the back, I got Messi number 10. Quite hard to find, but I finally managed to get one this year. Really happy with it. Y'all probably know I like Dortmund and this year I got this beautiful Dortmund 1516 home shirt. This was actually a gift from Cold Kids. So big thanks to them. I really like the design in the shoulder area of the shirt. And we got some smooth horizontal black lines on the shirt. On the back, I got midfield maestro Gundogan 
number eight. He plays at Barcelona right now, but he was already a great player at Dortmund. Believe it or not, this is my third Barcelona 14-15 home shirt. The funny thing is that I already showed you one with Neymar on the back. This one has got Neymar on the back as well. I didn't even know I had the shirt double. And another crazy legendary shirt is this Real Madrid 16-17 away shirt. The famous purple shirt. I got the La Liga version of the shirt, so I got the La Liga patch right over here. It's size medium. And on the back, I got Sergio Ramos, number four. And I can already tell you that I'll show you more of these purple shirts. <laughs> the next shirt is Uruguay 2014 home shirt. We got a very nice detail just around the team crest and some smoke golden details, for example, in the color. And number nine, y'all know who wore number nine. Luis Suarez, probably the best Uruguayan player ever. I also really like the fact that they got this Uruguayan flag right over here. Next up is the Bejik Dash 22-23 away shirt, still brand new with tags and in size medium, my size. I bought the shirt when I made a trip to Istanbul. On the back, I got a legend from Cameroon, Abu Akar, number 10. That's actually my second Bejik Dash shirt. Over here, I got another Trabzon Sport shirt. I think this is the 22, 23, third or fourth shirt. I forgot. Yeah, this shirt has got the same logo because that one, the Turkish league in the 21, 22 season. Not about this shirt with the other Trabzon Sport shirt I just showed you because yeah, sales going on. I really like the colors on here and we got a nice monochrome team crest. On the back of the shirt, I got Hamshik number 17 as well. And I just love the color of this name set. It looks very good on this black shirt. Next up, we got this Liverpool 22-23 home shirt. It's a very minimalistic jersey, but honestly, that's what makes it clean. I mean, you don't always have to have shirts with crazy patterns and colors. This simple design just does it for me. On the back, I got <laughs> my twin, Gakpo, number 18. I hope I can get this signed this year. We're gonna see. Well, I completely forgot I got this one as well. This is the Barcelona 1415 third kit. This shirt has got such a bright neon color. But as you can see, it's got both of the Champions League patches on the sleeves. We've got a nice color on here. And on the back, I got Messi number 10. I remember I had one with Suarez, but I sold it and I bought this one instead. Next up is the Manchester City 21-22 away shirt it's an all white shirt but the sponsor has got such a nice transition from pink to i would say gray or dark green actually i don't know but all i know is that it looks nice and that's what it's all about right it's still brand new with tags it's got the champs league patches over here and on the back we got the Bruyne number 17 beautiful name set as well if you ask me and this is actually the champs league name set the premier league name set looked differently of course you're seeing double probably now because i already showed you this shirt well i actually got another one but this time i got messy on the back because i just needed to have this shirt with messy on it i mean the name set is so beautiful with those golden edges it's amazing i love it and of course it's beautiful detail in the neck el canto del Barça, basically a Barça song. Guys, the following shirt is special to me. This is the Chelsea 11-12 third kit, if I'm not mistaken. It's got the Champions League patches on the sleeves. I just love the upper part of the shirt. I mean, those are not typical Chelsea colors. I mean, black and yellow is kind of unusual for Chelsea, but there's a reason I bought this shirt because on the back, we got Torres number nine in Champions League style. And we even got a signature next to it. I literally got this signed a few weeks ago because he came to the Netherlands with his under 18 squad. Such an iconic shirt because he scored the winning goal for his Barcelona in this shirt back in 2012. And over here, I got another FC Barcelona shirt. This time it's from the 11-12 season. It looks already vintage in my opinion with those small stripes. I got this shirt because of Messi's record in 2012. He scored 91 goals in one year. That's just amazing so i got his name on the back as well shirt number 71 if i'm counting right is the belgium 2016 home shirt i actually don't remember why i bought this shirt i think probably because it was a very good deal but yeah something i really like is the belgium team crest and the shirt says number seven so on the back we got the bruyne number seven i think i bought this shirt because i still didn't have a belgium shirt with the bruyne on the back over here we got another argentina 2018 home shirt. I already showed you the signed Dybala one, which I absolutely love. This is the exact same shirt. Apart from the size, this is size medium. The Dybala one is a size large and the player on the back because this one has got number 10 
So obviously it's got Messi on it. Over here I got another special shirt. This is a Real Madrid 1516 away shirt, even brand new with tags. I also really like the fact that the shirt's got the golden FIFA World Champions badge of 2014 on it. We've got a standard embroidered La Liga patch over here and on the back. I got Ronaldo, number seven. I'm a big fan of the style of this name set, especially with the depth effect in the number. Over here, I got the Tottenham 21-22 home shirt, brand new with tags, full patch, like we got two Premier League patches on both of the sleeves, size large. And on the back, we got a legend of the game, and he's very underrated in my opinion. It's Bill, number nine. So I thought, I need a Bill shirt from his time. At Tottenham. Over here we got another goalkeeper shirt. This is the Arsenal 10-11 home away third. I'm not even sure. I forgot. But this is a goalkeeper shirt. Long sleeves. We got a nice Pikachu design on those sleeves. On the back I got Polish goalkeeper Chesney number 53. And it's very cool because his name set is actually made of velvet. Very old school, right? Surprise! We got another FC Barcelona shirt. This time it's the 1314 home shirt. This yellow color looks so good on this shirt. Just like the small stripes on the sleeves. This time I don't have Messi, but I got Neymar Jr. number 11 because this was his first season at FC Barcelona. I remember he was one of those young talents everyone was talking about. And when I saw this shirt, I just had to get it. Over here we got one of my favorite Atletico Madrid shirts. This is the 1617 away shirt. An all black shirt with yellow details, for example, in the Atletico team press, which is monochrome by the way. We also got a beautiful navy stripe over here in the neck. And of course I got Griezmann number seven on the back. A beautiful name set as well, especially with this line and the number. Over here I got another special shirt. This is the Real Madrid 2009-2010 home shirt. Back in the days, they still had this B win sponsor, so iconic in my opinion. We got this embroidered La Liga patch. And on the back, you probably expected it, but I got Ronaldo number nine. I just needed to have Ronaldo's first Real Madrid shirt because this guy is probably the best Real Madrid player ever. And we're used to seeing him play with number seven at Real Madrid. This shirt is number nine, and that's exactly what makes it special. Over here, I got the Liverpool 1617 home shirt, brand new attack, and full patch. We got both of the Premier League patches on the sleeves. They were still sponsored by New Balance. I really like New Balance shirts, by the way. On the back, I got Mane, number 19. This was his first season at Liverpool, and he got number 19. Later on, he switched to number 10, but that's exactly why I needed this shirt with number 19. Now it's time for a special shirt. You've seen it before on my channel, the Real Madrid 1617 away shirt with the FIFA World Champions badge of 2016. Unfortunately, no Champions League patches, but I do have Ronaldo on the back. And these shirts are so hard to find, especially brand new with tags. Like, I printed this shirt myself. I actually got a video about it, but this is definitely one of my best pickups of this year. Shirt number 81, if I'm counting right, is the Arsenal 22-23 away shirt. Beautiful pink shirt with some light blue and navy details. We got a monochrome Arsenal team press as well. And the best part of the shirt is probably the back because over here we got Erdegaard 8 in cup style font. So this is not the Premier League name set, but it's the Champions League, Europa League or domestic cup name set. And we actually got this beautiful Arsenal Gunners logo and the number eight. Such a beautiful shirt. This is probably also one of my best cops of this year. This is the AC Milan 08-09 home shirt. An iconic Milan home shirt with the standard Adidas logo and the B-Win sponsor. On the back, I got one of my favorite players of all time, Ronaldinho number 80. And this shirt is so special because he played with number 80. Like before Barcelona, he played with number 10, but this time he chose number 80. I love it. Over here, we got the Argentina 2022. Home shirt, it's a two star version. I actually got the three star version somewhere over here. But y'all probably know who number 11 is. It's of course Di Maria. And I was so close to getting this one signed, but unfortunately, the security told me that he was not gonna sign. So bad luck. Over here, we got the Dortmund 22 23 Blackout Edition. A very, very clean shirt. Look at those black and black logos. They're shiny and I love it. We got the black and black Bundesliga patch on the red sleeve. The back is probably even more impressive because I got Bellingham number 22, but the name set features parts of the map of Dortmund. So if you look closely, you can see streets just as if you were looking at Google Maps. And it's still brand new with tags. Very nice cop. Another iconic shirt. This is the Argentina 2010 
home shirt. We also got this nice center Adidas logo. It gives the shirt a retro vibe. Uh, no patches. I was planning on getting the World Cup 2010 patch. But yeah, number 10, kind of obvious, but I got Messi on the back of the shirt. Over here, we got the Inter 1617 home shirt, and this is actually the player version. So that means that both the team crest and the Nike logo are heat pressed onto the shirt. On the back, I got Croatian Maestro Perisic number 44. He even signed it. We met the Croatia squad back in June and I got Perisic to sign this shirt. And this name is so clean in my opinion. Over here, I got another beauty. This is the Arsenal 1011 away shirt with the iconic old school Premier League patches on both of the sleeves. Now on the back, I got the beautiful Van Persie name set. It's actually made of velvet, so that's old school as well. And I got it signed like a few weeks ago. Very nice signature on a very nice shirt. Over here, I got the Real Madrid 11, 12 home shirt with the beautiful golden details on the shoulders and in the Adidas logo. I also really fancy this bolt collar on here with the golden stripe on it. And on the back, I got Ronaldo number seven in a beautiful golden name set. I really feel like Ronaldo shirts at Real Madrid are getting rarer every year. So that's why I kind of invested in some of his shirts at Real Madrid. Over here, I got another Real Madrid shirt, a beautiful blue 1314 away shirt. And this material actually feels like a pyjama or something. But yeah, nice color. And besides that, I got a very nice player on the back. Ronaldo number seven. Again, this year I've bought so many Messi and Ronaldo shirts, it's crazy. Yeah, we also got the La Liga patch on the right sleeve. And I just love the style of this name set. Looks very playful. And over here, I got another Atletico 1516 home shirt. And what makes the shirt so special is that it was signed by Koke. And the signature is actually beautiful. I got this signed like last month and I didn't know his signature was this nice. Shirt number 91 is the Real Madrid 1415 home shirt this time in short sleeve version of course it's got the la liga patch on the right sleeve embroidered and i remember i got this shirt because it already had the ronaldo name set applied onto the shirt and it's quite hard to find these name sets separately especially if you want the original name sets so that's basically why i bought this shirt even though i already have this shirt in long sleeve version but without name set by the way i really like the folding effect in the corners of for example this number seven over here i got another Real Madrid 13 14 away shirt i just showed you one with ronaldo on the back but this is exactly the same shirt but this time with bill on the back i mean this was bill's first season at Real Madrid and this guy really deserves the recognition because he was a beast yeah nice tribute to Gareth Bale over here I got the Manchester United 18-19 away kit probably one of my favorite Manchester United shirts ever I just love the smooth pink color they use on this shirt and the old pink details for example used on the shoulders this shirt is even brand new with tags quite hard to find actually on the back I got Pogba number six in cup style printing. I actually wanted to get Rashford on the back of the shirt, but I couldn't find his original name set anywhere. So I went with Pogba and I think it's an amazing shirt. Over here, I got another Inter 1617 home shirt. This time it's the fans version. We got this City A patch on the right sleeve. It's a size small. Unfortunately, I cannot wear the shirt. And on the back, I got Icardi number nine, my second Icardi shirt. Believe it or not, I didn't have any Icardi shirts at the beginning of 2023. So I basically bought two of them this year. The next shirt is special to me. It's the England 2022 home shirt. Something I really like about the shirt is this icy design in the shoulder area. Another minor detail I really like is the white star they got above the England team crest. Shirt's got number four, it's on the back. We got Rice with a signature next to it. I got this signed about two weeks ago, kind of crazy idea. And I bought this shirt just before because I knew the Arsenal squad was coming to the Netherlands. Such a nice signature as well. And Declan Rice is a very friendly guy. We're moving from England to Brazil because I got this Brazil 2018 home shirt. Just a typical Brazil shirt, clean, but nothing too special. Still no patches, but I'm gonna try if I can find the patches myself. Number 10 is giving it away, but we got Neymar Jr number 10 on the back of the shirt and this is actually my first and only brazil shirt with neymar on the back believe it or not over here we got mexico aka mexico 2022 home shirt beautiful design and also beautiful team crest 
we got those nice red stripes in the shoulder area and this is such an underrated shirt i actually bought this from one of my followers and i applied the names onto it myself number 22 it's of course irving lozano amazing player who plays at psv i'm still gonna try to get this signed next year but i think i'll manage to get a signature on hopefully the number over here we got another fc barcelona 09 10 home shirt this time we got the fifa world champions badge of 2009 in the middle i actually already showed you this shirt with messi on the back but this time i got Dani Alves, the number two on the back, a Brazilian legend. This guy was so iconic back in the days. So I will never forget him. And this is my first Dani Alves shirt as well. Over here, I got the Germany 2014 home shirt in which they won the World Cup. And it's still brand new with tags. And number 19 is of course, World Cup final score, Gutze. I actually need to get this signed as well because this guy scored the winning goal and the World Cup final of 2014 versus Argentina. At shirt number 100, it's gotta be special. So I got this Real Madrid 1617 away shirt. Again, I think this is the third time I'm showing you this shirt, but this time it's got Sergio Ramos on the back as well. But a signature next to it. Very, very cool signature, if you ask me. I mean, this guy's probably one of the best defenders ever. He's won so many Champions League trophies with Real Madrid, now he plays at Sevilla. I'm really happy with this signed shirt. Over here, I got the PSG 1819 Black Jordan shirt in fans version. It's got the Champions League patches on both of the sleeves and you can kind of guess it, but I got Mbappe number seven on the back of this beautiful shirt. I already got this shirt, but in player version, but I'm probably gonna wear this fans version myself to the gym, for example. Next up, we got the FC Barcelona 0607 home shirt. And this shirt is iconic to me because this was the period when I started watching football. So I remember when Eto, Ronaldinho and Messi wore this iconic shirt. I actually got Messi number 19 on the back of the shirt, but I still don't have an Eto shirt. So I might get the same shirt with Eto on the back as well. I also bought this beautiful Spain 2016 away shirt. This is also called the Dorito shirt because of this design of colored triangles around the Spain team crest. I really like this one and this is actually my first Spain shirt. I don't know why. But on the back, I got Morata number seven signed by Alvaro himself. I met him a few weeks ago and he signed two shirts, one pink Juventus shirt and this Spain 2016 away shirt. Over here, I got another FC Barcelona shirt. This time it's a 12-13 home shirt. And this is just a shirt from Messi's Prime of Barcelona which couldn't miss in my collection. The next shirt is easily one of the best cups of this year because it's the Real Madrid 1617 away shirt and this time with long sleeves. It's also got the FIFA World Champions badge of 2016 right over here. And on the back, I got Ronaldo number seven, of course, who else? Whenever you see this shirt, it just screams Ronaldo. Really happy with this one. I customized it myself. I made a video about it, but yeah, this is definitely one of the best cups of 2023. Over here I got another very special shirt in my opinion because it's become kind of rare. This is the Ajax 1819 home shirt even brand new with tags inside medium my size. This shirt is special because in the 1819 season Ajax reached the Champions League semi-finals so you don't really see these shirts on websites like eBay anymore. On the back of course I got the young number 21 such an amazing cup. Oh, by the way, I'm gonna try to get this signed next year. The next shirt is special as well because I never thought I was getting an Armenia shirt, but this is the Armenia 2020 or 2021 away shirt, if I'm not mistaken. Brand new with tags. I got this one from Classic Football Shirts. I really like the design on this shirt. It's actually a very nice transition from yellow to orange. The Armenia team crest looks really dope. Number 18, so we got Mikitarian on the back. And the design of this name set looks so awesome on this yellow orange shirt. I think I've told you guys this before, but this actually looks like the FC Barcelona 1213 away shirt, like the yellow orange one. Over here, I got the Germany 2016 away shirt. I really like the dark green colors of the shoulders. We got the FIFA World Champions badge of 2014 because that's when Germany won the World Cup. This shirt is actually reversible. So if you turn it inside out, it becomes a training top. Now on the back, I got Ozil number eight. This was my first Ozil jersey and I really needed to get one. Over here, I got another Real Madrid 1617 home shirt. This time, the short sleeve version, brand new with tags. Very hard to find 
very lucky to get this. This shirt also has the La Liga patch on the right sleeve, embroidered. Still no name or number on the back. I might get Ronaldo or Modric. I still don't know. And over here, I got another beautiful Germany shirt. This time it's the 2018 away shirt. Also brand new with tags. And I just love the 90s vibe this shirt is giving out. Also it's green color is very iconic. The small number 10 on the front is a bit damaged, but this shirt was such a steal, believe me. On the back, of course, I got Ozil number 10. And over here we got another nice detail saying Die Mannschaft, which is the German team. Next up, we got the Netherlands 2022 home shirt in player version. That's what makes it very cool to have. At first, this design didn't really appeal to me, but it kind of grew on me, and now I really like it. As you can see, I still don't have a name or number on the back, but I'll definitely get the name set, and I'll make a video about this upgrade. Over here, I got an Argentina shirt not many people talk about. This is the Argentina 2018 away shirt. What I really like is that they basically featured the Argentinian flag over here. So the design of the flag is basically integrated with the whole design of the shirt. For the rest, the shirt doesn't have any details, nor a name or number on the back, but I'll probably get Dybala number 21 on here because I really like Dybala. Surprise, over here, I got another FC Barcelona 1450 home shirt. This time, I actually got the Bico sleeve sponsor on the left sleeve. On the back, we got Suarez number nine, and that means that I got this same shirt with Messi, Suarez, and Neymar. So the Amazon connection is complete now, I guess. Over here, another gem. This is the Manchester United 0809 away shirt. What I really like about this shirt is the color, but also this FIFA World Champions badge of 2008 and this Champions League winner badge of 0708. This is a quite sought after shirt and I'm really glad I picked it up this year. On the back, we got the Champions League printing of Ronaldo number seven. That actually means that I bought two Manchester United shirts we were not on the back this year. Man, I really stepped up my game. This is iconic, guys. I love the style of this name set as well. Over here, we got another Real Madrid 1819 third kit. Over here, we got all the Champions League patches on the sleeves again, as well as the FIFA World Champions patch of 2018. I showed you guys the shirt before, but with Asensio on the back. And this time, I got Vinicius Jr number 28. Nice to see him with number 28. I like this shirt. Over here I got another Brazil 2018 home shirt. I already showed you one with Neymar Jr. number 10 on the back. This time it's got a number 9 which means that it's Gabriel Jesus. And something you guys didn't know is that I got it signed by Gabriel Jesus himself. It's not the best signature and that's because the security was actually pulling him away from me because he was not allowed to sign. But I still got him to sign this shirt, which I'm really grateful for because this is actually my first signed Brazil shirt ever. Another shirt I bought this year is this Mexico 2018 home shirt. It actually reminds me a bit of the Argentina 2018 away shirt in terms of the design. Like we got the same stripes on the side of the shirt, just like we saw on the Argentina shirt. We got a nice detail over here. So in Mexico, it means I am Mexico. And yeah, still no name or number, but I'll definitely print Chicharito or Lozano on the back. I still don't know. Surprise, another Barcelona shirt. This time it's the 1718 home shirt. To be honest, it's nothing special, but I just had to get it. I mean, that's kind of how it works when you got a football shirt addiction. But anyways, I got Messi number 10 on the back of this one because I actually really like the name set on this shirt. I mean, we got those nice lines in the number and even in the name. Then I got another crazy cup. This is the Real Madrid 1314 home shirt in long sleeve version. Very hard to find, but I finally managed to get one. Whenever you see this type of Real Madrid shirt with long sleeves, you probably expect that I got Sergio Ramos or Ronaldo on the back. Well, it's true. Of course, I got Ronaldo on the back. Ronaldo long sleeve shirts will become so rare, so I'm really glad I found this one. And over here, I got another FC Barcelona shirt. This time, it's a 1920 home shirt. To be honest, I'm not even a big fan of this shirt, but I just needed to get it because Messi still played at Barcelona. To be honest, I don't really know if I'm a big fan of this checkers design, but you know, it's got Messi on the back and that already makes it iconic. The next shirt I bought is the FC Barcelona 23-24 home shirt, still brand new with tags, and it's the player version. In my opinion, the FC Barcelona 22-23 home shirt looks better than this one, but I just bought this one because it was a steal and I actually want to get a player on the back. I'm still not gonna tell you which player I'll print 
I'll make a video about it so you'll find out very soon. This shirt is one of my most recent cups. It's the IX2122 home shirt with their iconic old school logo. I think this is one of the best home shirts IX have released in the past years. I mean, it's just a classic red and white IX shirt with their old logo. You can't go wrong with these type of designs. Cool thing is that they usually feature the three stars IX has got, but instead of featuring those three stars over here, just above the logo, they feature them over here in the neck. And well, as you can see, the shirt doesn't have a name or number, and I'm probably not gonna apply any name or number onto it. I'll just leave it this way. Over here, we got the Juventus 1617 away shirt. It's a very underrated shirt in my opinion. I really like the two types of blue they've used for the shirt. I also got the Coppa Italia patch and the Scudetto right over here. And this was the last season in which they used their old team crest. Still no name or number on the back. I'll probably print Dybala or Chiellini or I don't know. Over here, another shirt I've been looking for for such a long time and I finally found it this year. This is the Chelsea 2021 home shirt still brand new with tags. This was the year in which Chelsea won their second Champions League title and that's why it's hard to find this shirt. I still don't have a name or number on the back but I'm thinking of getting Havertz since he scored the winning Champions League goal in the final. And last but not least, y'all know I'm a big fan of Uruguay. I got myself this Uruguay 2022 away shirt. I really think this is a fancy shirt with those golden details over here in the Puma logo and in the Uruguay team crest. I mean, the design on itself is already appealing to me. Also with the design of the sleeve cuffs and the color over here. And well, as you can see, still no name or number, but I actually already got the name set over here. I'm still not gonna tell you what player it is, but you'll find out very, very soon. That means if I counted everything right, that I bought 125 football shirts in 2023. And I gotta tell you guys, I got some loose shirts over here that I'm trying to sell or that I'm still trying to print that I didn't even consider for this video. But let's say I bought 125 football shirts this year. With that shocking conclusion, this video has come to an end. I hope you liked it. And I also wanna thank you for your crazy support on my TikTok, my Instagram, but also on my YouTube channel. I mean, we grew from 700 subs to almost 5K. That's just amazing. And I'm really enjoying making these videos for you. And I also think that 2023 has been an amazing year for me. I mean, I bought so many football shirts and I met some very famous players. That also means that I got a lot of new signed shirts, which I'm really grateful for. Anyway, I wish you all the best for 2024. Thanks again for the support and I'll see you next year.